what we do want to do is figure out approximately where we want our cut across to be. So I've kind of marked how far down so that the flare comes out starting at the same point. And you cut from the fold all the way almost to the side. Mm -hmm. Making a hinge. Okay. Yeah. And then we flip this over just because we don't we want to have our, our north going the same way. So you are doing a slip. So you are doing the same side slip. Yeah, same thing, but it but this doesn't have to match that. Oh, oh you can okay. make it this is the back. You can make it a lot more in the back or less in the back. Okay. But okay. if you want if you want the switch to go, you know, yeah. pretty much all the way around. Okay. That's so it'll be like this. So let's figure out our hem one more time. So we're going to triangulate that the right angle on the front edge. We're going to go up one inch from straight across to here. So we can extend this line to the one inch mark. The first inch here has to be a right angle to the fold. And then after that, we can use our curve to make a gracefully curved hem. Okay, question. Are you building in a hem, or this doesn't need a hem? We, we haven't built in a hem because, well, we, ha we already have. We already uh, set our pattern to be the length we want plus an inch hem. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's it. Okay. There you go.